Hello everyone, uh, my name is John Paul Giancarlo, I'm m and &E Technical Specialist for South Europe at Autodesk and today guys, in this uh, video, I'm going to be showing you how to convert a, your typical Blin or Maya shaders into Arnold shaders. So um, you've probably seen this before, right? But normally when you when you have a, a typical font or bling, you can obviously go to type uh, shader and just change that here into a AI standard. But I just want to show you something. Right now, uh, say that that's my shader there, right? It's a font. But if, if I do this, you can see at the moment I have a uh, bunch of things connected. So I have my um, specular color connected, I have a bone map connected, and I have my diffuse or my color connected, right? So if I go ahead, right, and do this, um, change it to in an AI standard, what's going to happen is that this guy just got disconnected, and that's because Maya can't really find um, the specular color for the, for the Arnold shader. So, Okay, so now I'm just going to undo all the stuff that I did, right? Um, and I'm going to get my phone back. So, what I need to do, obviously, um, I have to rely on uh, Maya scripting. So, one thing that's very important to, to mention here, though, is that um, scripting in Maya has always been a great feature that has been there forever. You know, we have to take really a good advantage of it. Um, and you'll see, and you'll see why, because obviously, Imagine you have not just this this one shader, but say you had a hundred shaders like this one, and you need to transfer them to uh, Arnold. You'll find yourself like doing it one by one. It's, it's actually something you don't really want to do. So, uh, fortunately, there's a big, huge community in the Autodesk that we call Area. I'm, I'm sure you heard about it. So most of the time, you'll you, you'll be able to find scripts that have already been written for somebody to solve these sort of issues. And that's pretty much what I did. I went to the area and I found myself these pretty uh, nice scripts, which I'm going to open right now for you. Um, just wanted to show you the command. Uh, so basically, all this stuff is done is, um, is, is basically on my selection, right? It's going to store my selection. Then it's going to try to find what type of um, shader that is, if that is a Lambert or a Blaine or a phone, then it's going to collect all the attributes in that one. It's going to create the proper connections for it. So obviously, guys, I'll be giving you this script and it'll be on the description below this video. Uh, so you can go ahead and download it. But basically, I just want to show you how quick it is. If I if I do run that script, I'm just going to select that guy there. And you're going to hit my Maya to Arnold script. And when I do, it just creates all the proper connections for me. As you can see here. Okay, so it, it created all the proper connections for me now. So, so you can see this a pretty handy uh, script to have you know, at hand, because obviously you'll find yourself in this situation where you have to convert, you know, maybe hundreds of shaders at once. So, uh, I'm now just gonna, basically just to show you, I'm just gonna take the rest of the shaders that I have for this uh, um, women pilot. I'm gonna select all of them, and I'm gonna roll my script again. And you see, it's done it for me. But it's converted all of them shaders for me already. So as you can see here, I got all my AI shaders with all my connections. And all I have to do now is obviously just uh, come back and tweak all the shaders. That's pretty much all I need to do. All right. So, all right, guys, I hope you liked this video. It's uh, actually just a pretty quick tip for everyone out there. Uh, found myself in this situation and okay so just i hope you have a great day and if you like what you saw remember to give me a like a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel well thank you very much and see you soon